Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Arataq and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Golden Century. Welcome back to our Venice campaign on hard difficulty, Lucky Nations turned on. We are still making a decent amount of money, but uh, we're also paying a lot of army maintenance at this point, because we lost a big, big battle over here against the United Armies of Genoa and the Mamluks. Yeah, sometimes that happens. I'm glad I pulled Castile and Austria into this so that we have someone who can really fight the Mamluks down. Um, I'm actually thinking even about taking some additional provinces from them, maybe taking Rashid. Um, Damyad is probably what we should take here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of aggressive expansion if we take those three, but... It could well be worth it, um, as long as our guys don't just um, separate piece out of it, which shouldn't happen, I don't think. I mean, they kind of like us. So have some favors with Castile. Um, Austria, we have no favors with them. Uh, I mean, I do want to switch to France at some point. Oh man, our relations have really gone down the drain. That's a lot of aggressive expansion again. Hmm, yeah, what can we do? They might become hostile at some point, which wouldn't be all too great. Yeah, let's, let's uh, get Mantua. That's one of the reasons why I actually attacked Cyprus, because I wanted to, I wanted Mantua. Could actually get rid of one fortress then. Should probably get rid of Ferrara. We don't need that many forts. We'll see how it goes. Um... Yeah, so far things are still okay though. Like we have Cyprus, we have the war goal that gives us a ticking war score too. Um, we're blockading a lot of the Mamluks here, so their war happiness, their war exhaustion should actually go up. But it also cost us some war exhaustion to lose a battle like that. It's, uh, it's not great. It's not great. Let's keep it that way. Um, let's add these guys to the fleet. I mean, we could probably go for some mercenaries to conserve our manpower. We need 15,000 additional men. We're probably not going to be able to... Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll just let these guys reinforce. We'll do it in our own territory. Our military engineer has died. Verona is now the seat of a new cardinal. We have six loyal cardinals. Let's go with a faster reinforce speed, I guess. Ah, uh, no. We could really use someone who brings us some discipline. That would be nice. Clemson mid-piece with Tunis. I guess I'm gonna go up to speed 4. Land Force Limit Modifier. Hamburg has joined a trade league. Yeah, I want someone who improves our battle set. I will take someone who improves our morale too. All the diplomat from Luca. God damn it. Can I have someone that I can use now, please? I'm glad that the function is in here, but I think they should just do away with the whole random random system. In EU3, you actually had a system where you could like increase your culture points and then you could actually get the guys that you wanted. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy to get a little bit more army morale. Clemson have raided the coast of Albanga and Genoa. Yeah. I think we should really deal with these Barbary coast states. They're freaking annoying. Uh, historically, they could kind of live a long life because the Ottomans were protecting them. But here, they wouldn't really have that much luck, I think. Let's get to Constantinople. Have more armies been beat? That's weird. Oh yeah. Actually have been. Guys. This is not good. It's not good at all. Let's come over here. Let's get these armies. Hmm. I guess I'm not gonna attach. Instead I'm just gonna... Let Byzantium siege that down. 
called the diplomat from Switzerland. I do want to send one to France again. Proof relations. Um, you're still fine. Is there anyone who feels like really threatened? Salzburg uh, doesn't look too good. Of tea and sugar. Modena is fine now. Um, Switzerland is okay. Savoy is alright. Genoa is mad at us. Anyone up here? It's looking like they might want to flip out. Memmingen is not happy with us. They still know a trade league though, so let's improve them. I have no debate in the Great Council. Let's start the debate. Really could use some manpower, but then again, also mercantilism. That's awesome. Technology cost reduction. Mercantilism is like permanent. Manpower is always fleeting. Let's take mercantilism. Venezia is backing the current issue, I guess. Um, admin support. Lose one mechanism to gain two. Uh, <laughs> Let's support the populists. Okay, we got that voted in. Two mechanism and 5% more domestic trade power. Awesome. Should really make a difference in the bottom line. Should be a stable government. Ignore them. Yeah, probably didn't make that much of a difference. Uh, we have so many, we have so many cardinals, and the papal state still hates us. I really want to get rid of the papal state as a as a rival. This looks good. This looks much better actually. Um, have these guys attach. Come to over to Eden. Mantua is now part of our patrimony. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So there's the Genoese army. Um, Spain is just going nuts over here. I want someone to siege this down. Um, how about we tell Castillo to do that? Come on, Castillo. You can do that. I guess they won't take orders from me. Nuremberg has been fully annexed by the Palatinate. Freaking hell. Okay, people are going crazy in the HRE now. They don't really respect the authority of the Kaiser whatsoever. No imperial authority. Uh, monthly authority goes down. And yeah, if one of these electors flips, um, we might see Austria lose the HRE. Foreign plots. Yeah, 500 bucks for 10 Republican traditions. Yeah, I don't want to lose the stability, that's for sure. Seize them in their wealth. It's <laughs> a lot of money. We can select a naval doctrine now. We could also become defender of the Catholic faith. I don't really want to be a part of that at all. We can make man to a Catholic 29 months that's pretty nice actually we still have the local missionary in this area um, I don't want that let's go local manpower modifier I could probably do that in all the areas except for Venice Actually, we'll do it everywhere. Promote military recruitment. Promote military recruitment. We're already getting a ton of trade here, so... Okay, that's good. Oh, actually, I have to do it over here too so military recruitment military recruitment that should do quite a bit for us now switching the month over we lost almost no trade power i guess it doesn't make a lot of difference in our bottom line but we now have thirty-six thousand um army strength 
International Guild Contacts. One of our diplomatic envoys with strong connections to a domestic guild has been accused by some older ambassadors of cutting deals with a guild across the border. While he admits to attending to guild business while abroad, he denies accusations of compromising his political mission. On the other hand, he says he's open to the idea of attempting to use his connections abroad to our advantage. The old guard of aristocratic diplomats find this practice highly dubious, but leveraging connections between guilds could give us an edge in clandestine operations. Spy network construction. We've got to suspend the diplomat. Yeah, we'll suspend the diplomat, I think. Oh, come on! It suspends the diplomat that gave me the whole spy progress here. Uh, at least I don't lose the spy network. That's fine. France has influenced the knights. I really need to pick these up as a vassal. Come on. 43 versus 55. Influencing is one thing. They have no debt, though. What about Byzantium? Do you have debt? No, they don't have any debt. Could go knowledge sharing. Yeah. Do we want them backwards? Not really. Let's go knowledge sharing. They have 16k now. That's actually a sizable army. That's good. Hmm. Wouldn't mind getting this. If we can... What is... Uh, yeah. If we take Kaffa as a coastal center of trade. We could take it ourselves. I guess. Could also try to hold it via a vassal, but there isn't any vassal over here that I could use. Theodoro still exists. It's fighting Crimea. These guys might actually vanish. I'm not sure. I guess we'll I guess we'll concentrate on the matter at hand for now. A bunch of money at least, so we might be able to repay our loans. Yeah, let's repay all the loans. So at least that's gone. Our oh, inflation is going up. Bohemia declared war in Bosnia with the conquest castle's belly. Uh, that should pull in a papal state. Yes. Okay. Why are we gaining so much inflation now? 0.1%. Well, it's not a lot, I guess. Can switch this culture to Venetian now. Same over here. Yeah. Croatians already accepted. Um, Romagnol. I think we could make these Venetian too. Um, it's a hundred to power. But it would make our realm more stable. Hmm. They're not fully accepted. Uh, does that add to unrest? Nah. I don't think it's necessary over here. Like they are also in our, they're at least in our culture group, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. What's going on there? Why are you guys running through the desert? It's not a good idea. Yeah, Bohemia, you can march through. Sure. Have fun. Knock yourself out. Go for it. Okay, this is good. Who else do we improve with? Salzburg is happy with us. Ulm kind of needs some topping up. Could go influence nation as well, but just leave it for now. Sieging this down. If I don't have to, I won't fight in this at all. Riga has been annexed by Lithuania. Makes sense. People said have claimed my capital. These guys are going nuts. Why? How do you think Venezia is ever gonna belong to you? Look, I'm spreading the Catholic faith. Why do you have problems with me? Guess they're just super mad. 
let me check this. How much are we going to need? We have 353 and we have 300 available. So what are we going to need? Uh, 700. We need 1050 admin power points. Could conceivably upgrade this guy. Well, maybe not. Bremen joined another trade league. Who cares? We'll let these guys do all the work now. Um, let them just siege them all down. Um, Byzantium. Tell you what. Go nuts. Go siege. Go, go, go. Would be kind of nice if you kept your armies together, but... Guess it's not necessary. Coast Indian coast. Yeah, we're gonna be able to catch a lot of these ships, I think. Once they fall. It's all going to plan. Well, at least we're making good good use of the two allies that we plan to ditch. Conserving Poland. While hurting the others. Okay, that's a peace offer from Genoa. Um, ooh, look at that. Would you look at that. Byzantium is being super useful. Nice. Okay. Um, detach a blockade. And I would like to catch some of these Genoese ships. Maybe these guys have it in hand. Maybe these guys just have it in hand. Just ignore it. Um, we're going to need a fair bit of admin power here. I'm not sure if I really want to invest in the idea. The promoter cultures are not super important. I want the tolerance uh, of heathens, but all in all, we can wait a little bit for these. Although finishing it is going to give us a reformation objective. So... Maybe. Oh, let's wait. Done improving with Memmingen. Who else is scared of us? Savoy looks a little bit scared. Let's improve with Savoy. Just make sure that no one, no one hates us. That no one's scared. Okay. More manpower. More manpower everywhere. On these? I guess we have to give these two provinces away at some point, but... I guess. Even if we give them to the Byzantines, they're still gonna be more useful if they... Knowledge sharing with Byzantium has been terminated. Okay. Almost done. Let's let's check the, um, the map mode. Can we knowledge share with Poland? Poland has loans. They can't. Okay, let me just check real quick. Um, really glad that the diplomacy thing exists now. Uh, I think it's economic action. Knowledge sharing, no one. Hungary is an ally to Venice. Maybe we can overcome their reluctance. Let's improve relations with Hungary. Because why not? Why not? Well, this is all looking pretty good. Merchants call for increased imports. So, do we push the traders? Venezia and Constantinople get the strong guild. Nah, let's take more trade power. The traders are now in a dominant position. That should boost our money. Lack of protection. Yeah, let's spend some diplo power to keep that guy uh, where he is. We're almost making 50 bucks now from trade. Man, <laughs> it's a lot of trade income, but as things go on, the strength of the Venetian trade node is gonna wane, and English Channel and Genoa are gonna become the places to be. So I'm gonna be a little bit weary of that. I could give Corsica to Aragon, but I don't want Spain to have it. Do we take Sugla? No, I think we just give it to Byzantium. 
Could also give this stuff to Byzantium if we wanted to. Like, there's no one I can free. I can always flip it back from Byzantium. Byzantium has nothing to say. The Byzantine Empire did actually reach that far. So it's not a total stretch. Kaffa, I want to take myself, I think. So that I have a port in the Black Sea trade note. It makes total sense. I have a trading post and a coastal center of trade. If I take this um, and I build it up, this is actually going to be pretty, pretty useful for myself. Um, the rest could probably just go to the Byzantine Empire. Let's check that. Let's just... Oh, I guess I can wait a little. Great Britain has annexed some African nation. What happens from time to time? End of a cardinal. Friuli is no longer a seat of a cardinal. Who, who bribed him? Austria. Oh, that's fair enough. We bribed one of one of theirs a little while ago. Let's pull you back. Um, right, Genoa. Ah, listen, buddy, you totally lost, right? So we both agree on that, right? Um, Genoa, the Papal State. I'll take Kaffa. Nobody's even bothered if I do that. If I get rid of Chios, I can give the Byzantines Azov, which is all I really care about. <sighs> I do I take Matriga so that I have access to this. Theodora to Byzantium, Kaffa for myself. What do I get for that? Like, is that worth it? Uh, I don't think that is the thing. Theodora is also going to be mad that my vassal holds additional lands. Kicking them out from here is probably a good idea. It's going to minimize the strength that Genoa has here. Hmm. They might not be able to police this, but I guess I can help them. So the Papal State, Genoa and the Ottomans might form a coalition here. It would also give me war reparations. And a couple of bucks. Do we do this? Do we just uh, let Genoa out? I think so. It's fine. We'll take an additional state with Kaffa, which... Uh, it's probably not ideal, but we gotta do it. So, yes. Okay, we lost 23,000, 5,000, 28, 24. Yeah, the losses are actually fine in this. So, how are these guys doing? 29% Liberty Desire now. Ah. Uh, Let's pay off their debt. We're a benevolent overlord. And let's make Kaffa into a territorial core for now. And then we'll see how things develop. They have a lot of unrest over here. Um, might have to deal with that in some form or fashion. The trial. Um, withdrawal from public life. It gives us some republican tradition. Yeah, I think so. Lose the corruption, lose, the, lose the, uh, gain the tradition for the future. <clears throat> yeah, our allies are making really good headway there. Oh, and all these guys were on route to take all this. It's actually good that we made peace, because otherwise, tons of losses, nothing gained. Very nice. And we're going to convert this. What is the religion in Kaffa? Um, Catholic. It's Pontic religion, but 
As long as it's Catholic, we can actually change that to Venetian. And make it a trade place. We have two too many now. Um, with Mantua, I think. Uh, yeah, some of these we have to take. You don't understand. I mean, we could also just become something other than a merchant republic. Serene Republic. Hmm. I guess it's fine. An army career. We could lose army tradition for more professionalism. Don't think so. I think we'll keep the army tradition up. France made peace. Hey, you captured a ship over here. A uh, galley. I like it. Very good. So this looks like a total route for the Mamluks. Complete another route. Yeah. Now that the European hordes are in there, they're in full retreat. They still have some troops, but I have no idea where they are. Cyprus might actually get a rebellion soonish. Um, that's 18% 18, 18 unrest on it. It's an argument to send some ships over there. Or some troops, rather. Let's do it. Let's get our leader. Muscovy has announced us as the new rival. Ah, come on, Muscovy. Go away. Why are you doing this? I guess I got a friend up with Lithuania now. As soon as we're out of the war, we're gonna friend up with Lithuania and rival Muscovy. I, I've had it with them. Screw them. They're gonna make a good rival. Someone to beat up. We can get a lot of favors by helping Lithuania beat Muscovy, if we can. We can at least throw money at them. I don't think our troops are going to be of much use. But throwing money at them is going to be a thing. Truce with Tunis has ended. Uh, yeah, you can rule the world without having high quality troops yourself. That is a thing. Apparently. So, I wonder how much I can get from these guys. Uh, we'll have to core this slowly but surely too. Almost there. Converting this to Catholic. I'm doing it. This is good. Discovered an agent of Genoa. I mean, Genoa is probably super mad now at me. I already have improved relations. I mean, we can just about get rid of that 70. And we converted the people in Mantua. This allows me to gain one additional mercantilism, which I'll take right away. Although we could have also taken manpower recovery, but it's not necessary. So Ottoman separatists are down here. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind, really, having them be taken by Ottoman separatists. I mean, although we're going to continue beating up on the uh, on the Mamluks, I guess. Do I want the Ottomans stronger? They are an additional target. They also might join a coalition, so what is that? 10k Napolitan troops. That's Byzantium. Yeah, no, we won't. We won't do it. We'll march against them. We could probably take our great leader, but I think this guy will do. So Ottomans tell us of internal conflicts. Not sure why they're telling us about it. I would probably keep that to myself, but I guess they can't. Um, in 1533, Ottomans faced almost a decade of utter chaos, slowly consuming the country from within and bringing it to the verge of collapse. Our nation is struggling both socially and economically as famine and war plague our people and the growing opposition against the aristocracy and church has resulted in a series of rebellions and assassination attempts against the monarch. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I could say I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. 
Not sorry at all. Tell you what. We'll help these guys. 6th of October. Crushing defeat for them. Uh, listen. Byzantium. Attach. Attach to this army. Let's go. Awesome. Okay. That does it. Now we'll just take it back. Um, no longer attach. Go and siege. Ottomans are becoming... Uh, the, the Byzantines are actually becoming kind of useful now that they are of a fairly decent size. It took a while, but now they're really doing it. Okay, pull them out again. Sieging everything down. Nice. We have this fleet. We have 42 galleys now. I don't really see a problem with having that many galleys. We're sieging down um, Cairo. I like it. During this time where Austria is busy in the Holy Land, can we can we release? The um, consonance is to be one of our core provinces. Yeah, we mainly want Alexandria. I mean, we could consider taking Adana over here, or maybe even Cherablus. That's Damascus. Getting a land province over here would be good, but I think we'll do that with the knights. Still haven't given up on them. It's 40 versus 50 now, so that's good. We have no diplomats to send. I like this. We're doing really well this war. I'm gonna uh, try to get the Mamluks as far down as possible by letting the uh, Castilians bleed for me and the Austrians. It reduces their aggress aggression towards um, towards Italy, which I like. What's this? Papal State. Oh yeah, yeah. Papal State can get it. That's not a problem. They can get kicked about. Ooh, so they're going for the Castilian Maghreb over here. That's why there's no no defense happening whatsoever. Yeah, that's fine. Noble uprising. Nine noble regiments in Kaffa. Okay, listen. Um, get on that ship. Get on that boat. I'm gonna go for Kaffa. We don't have a castle in Kaffa either. We probably should destroy either the church. Yeah, we probably got to destroy the church. To get that protected. Call the diplomat from Hungary. Austria is now the paper controller. Okay, let's crush him. Okay, very good. We have a call for peace now. Um, right. Probably have to stick to that one. Kind of finish that soonish. These guys managed to take Cairo and Iskandria. That would be great. Yeah, here you can actually see how green that is with that sand color that the Momblocks have. This looks even more drab than it is on the terrain map. At least here you can see that you're getting like uh, a crocodile. Yeah, finest crocodiles over here. And you're also getting some palm trees and stuff. Hey, you still see the crocodile. Okay, I take it back. You can. The crocodiles are being accurately reported. 
I approve. Let's repair damage chips. These guys could also repair damage chips. Um, I think that's a good idea. Truce with Ottomans and a bunch of other people has... Sorry, has ended. Well, that's good. Um, we might want to station some troops here, but now that we had the revolt, I guess it's no longer necessary. I really want to call Kaffa before I take more land. So we probably have to live a little bit longer with the call for peace, I think. Oh, yeah, we, sh we should be fine. I'm going to end the episode here. We made really good progress. Uh, I was almost done on culture converting in Zeta, which is great. Um, increases the stability of our realm, which is already pretty stable. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.